Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. Today we'll be creating a Java project and we'll perform automated testing using Selenium. So the prerequisite for this is that Java is installed on your PC. You have a Chrome driver installed on your PC or depending on driver of your choice, if you're gonna be testing on Firefox, then you have something like a Gecko driver installed. So firstly, to determine if you have Java installed on your laptop, you just open your command line and run Java hyphen version. All right, so you should see the version show up here. If it shows that, you know, the command is unrecognized, that means you don't have Java installed and you need to install that. So now the next thing is to install Eclipse. So to install Eclipse, you can just go to this link here, eclipse.org slash downloads. And then if you scroll down here, it says download packages. If I click on this, it will take me here. So what I installed for mine is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. You can install, if it's Windows, you use this, Mac OS, Linux, you know, select the one of your choice. And then the next thing is for you to install the Chrome driver if you haven't. To do that, you this is the link to install the Chrome driver. But then one important thing for you to note is it's good to have the Chrome driver that is you know, in sync with your version. So if you go to your Chrome settings and go to about, it will show you the version of Chrome that you're using. And right here, I'm using 120. So I'm gonna come back here and it says, if you're using Chrome version 115 or newer, then go to this link. And if I go here, I'll just click on stable. And then what I wanna download is this one here. All right, so when you click on this, it's gonna download as a zip file. You wanna unzip that and, you know, take note of the folder. And so the next thing you also wanna download for this is the Selenium web driver for Java, okay? So if you go to this page, selenium.dev slash download, and you see like the different, you know, tools and, you know, packages that are available to install, and you can just see the C Sharp, Ruby, Python, JavaScript, you know, the Selenium server one or the grid will be used when you, for a different scenario, not in this part. And the grid one is basically used when you want to do different testing for different, you know, websites or application at the same time. But that's what we're looking at today. Today, we'll just be downloading this one. So if you click on this, it immediately downloads a zip file for you. So what you wanna do is extract that zip file and take note of the folder that it has been extracted to. So once you've downloaded your Eclipse, you would wanna, you know, launch it, create a workspace where it's gonna sit in and, you know, then you will provide, you know, directed to this window. So now you have downloaded Eclipse, you've installed it, you've done all the setup, what next? So now we will create a Java project. And you know, earlier when I said it's easier for you to use Eclipse to create a Java project, and I'll show you how. So here, just click on files and click on new, and you will see Java project, okay? Give it a name, I would say Selenium, test tutorial okay so i'm just gonna leave this this way so depending on the jre you want to use i'm just going to use the default one and leave everything this way click on next all right and i will finish Okay, so now I've created a project called Selenium Test Tubes. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is to install the packages or the libraries that will be needed to run this project, or you can call them like external jazz. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll go to this Java project. I'll right click on it 
and then I'll go to build path. Select configure build path. Okay. So now this is very important for you to take note of. There are two things you can either click here, which is module path, and click add external jars. But then I realized that you get a bit of error when you finally want to run your application. So when I did a little bit of troubleshooting, I found out clicking the class path would you know resolve that issue. So click on class path and then select add external jazz. So what this will require is, you know, earlier when I said you're gonna download a Selenium web driver. So it's gonna download as a zip file. What you just have to do is extract it. So once you've, once you've extracted it, just come to, this is gonna be like, it's gonna be a lib folder and then it's gonna be all these files here. So I'm just gonna select all of them, all of them, making sure they're all selected and then I'll click open, all right? And so now I'll click on class path again and add external jazz. And then I'm gonna click on lib and then I'm gonna select everything here and open, all right? So now I've added all of that and I'm gonna click on apply and close. All right, so what happens now is you see this reference libraries is now created and you can see all the external jazz that you just added so now that we've done that the next thing you want to do is to create a java class so i'll just um click on the src select new scroll down to class all right I'm just gonna call this web Test. All right. Put this here. Finish. Okay. So now I have my class being created. Okay. So as I said, like using Eclipse is just like super easy for you to do. So now the first thing I want to do is I would say web driver driver and then that. And you see that red line that is showing on that web driver. I'm going to show you why it's doing that way and how you would resolve that. Okay. So I'll just call it launch browser. Okay, before I continue, you see this web driver, it needs you to import, you know, the library that was downloaded. So under this reference library. So just hover over it. One of the things about Eclipse, you can just click import web driver. So what that does, it imports it and puts it here for you. Now the red line is gone. So now the next thing is to, you know, put the system properties for the Chrome driver that I'm gonna be using. Okay. So this is gonna be web driver dot Chrome dot driver. If you want Firefox, you would say dot gecko dot driver instead of dot Chrome dot driver. So now this one is basically the link of your Chrome driver. That's the path, okay? So to determine the path that goes here, you just have to go to like your directory where you installed your Chrome driver and you can just say, click on this and then right click, copy as path go back to your Eclipse IDE and you just want to paste it there. So I'm just going to delete this other quotation marks and just ensure everything is well. Okay, delete this one. So now this is basically the path to the Chrome driver that was installed, okay? So now 
after you've done this, you want to, you know, call the driver that you're using, which is the Chrome driver. Okay. And then I'm just going to say that this driver should get my website. Okay. So that's what I want to test. That's what I want to investigate. So I'm just going to get the website link. Um, go there. Copy. Right. So I'm just going to finish this up. Control Z. Web test. All right. So now you also see that there's a line that showed here saying, you know, Chrome, Chrome driver cannot be resolved. Just like we did for the first one, we would also have to import the Chrome driver because we have already downloaded it or added it to our reference libraries. So now that has been resolved and there is no issue. So I'm just going to save, Control S, once that is done, I'm going to right click and I'll say run as a Java application. So as you can see, when you click run Java application, it pops up a different Chrome browser and then it begins to, you know, try to load the page that you requested. Okay. So now it's loaded Happy Cloud Solutions. You can go through it and see that, you know, everything is fine. And you can just come back here when you're done and click stop or terminate. You can also put like a drive out or quit command to, you know, stop the or close the browser once you've been able to verify the test and that everything is working. So yeah, basically this is how to, you know, create a Java project and just write like a simple Selenium script to test a website. I mean, there are different Selenium commands to use, like there's driver.navigate, there's, you know, get current URL, there are different commands that you can use, but this is basically like the baseline, the baseline, you know, to using, you know, Selenium to test for Java project. So this will help you get started. And I hope like you got something relevant out of this video. To learn more about using DevOps tools for your project, or like even the Selenium that we worked in today, you can always reach out to us via the contact us form on our website, or you can send us an email at info at happycloudsolutions.com. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have a question, do not fail to ask. We are quick to responding to questions and comments. Thank you.